as it, the flows progress down on the north side of Highway 132. I understand it just just crossed 132 about uh, half a mile or 0.6 miles from Four Corners. Um, so the civil defense, public works, police, fire, they were all down there evacuating people out of Noni Farms Road, Papaya Farms Road, and off of 132 uh, in preparation of the of the flow crossing it. And so those people are all out. And then we also started evacuating uh, vacation land in Kapoho again this morning in, t in anticipation that it would cross either 137 or Beach Road somewhere down by the Four Corners intersection. Uh, looks like this, the flows have slowed down, um, but we still encourage people to get out of the area because, uh, you know, Fisher 8 seems to be very active. We went door to door twice already at least and just made our messaging today, so I'm not sure who's left in there. But the critical one that we had to take care of today, this afternoon, was the 132 folks. So, so we know they're out. And then we'll start focusing on the Kapoho and Vacation Land area. The 132 folks are basically, that's the Noni Farms and Papaya uh, Farm Road area? So yes, yeah. yeah. All those agricultural sites. How many homes? Not too many, right? You'd be surprised. This, yeah, um, I flew it yesterday and numbers wise i'm not sure but quite a bit you know quite a bit of homes back there i suspect a lot of them unpermitted what have you seen during your flyovers what's surprising you the most um the flows are pretty active yesterday quite broad and a lot of volume being pushed behind them what surprised me was that fisher ate and the amount of lava that was coming out and that that I, I call it a big, huge river of lava just kind of winding its way down through that lava field. Yeah, just kind of opened my eyes that anything in this path is just going to be covered.